Monsieur Le Monse. You've been here today as a part of um, the Interact on private money for public good. And tell us, what's the model that you have in Spain um, as a foundation to promote um, disabilities? Well, I, uh, in all the foundation where uh, I have the joy to, to, to work with other colleagues with uh, disabilities, uh, our motto is that the best uh, way for independent living for those who can is uh, through training and employment. Uh, because when you have an employment, uh, you feel autonomous, you can uh, you can be a consumer, you can uh, have a cultural life, going to theater, to cinema, uh, going abroad, uh, traveling, and uh, have a mental life. So um, you you need to, to have a quality job and uh, that's why uh, we are working in the foundation, also thinking on accessibility. Because if you can, if you have all those obstacles to go to to your uh, working place or your, to your training place or in communications, uh, you, you you can uh, you, you can reach your objectives of this independent living. So employment and accessibility. So Maria, tell us what. T explain to me what. The foundation is because you're you're a very different type of foundation, aren't you? And I think for people who are watching this, it'd be interesting for them to know what, what is Fondación Once. Yes, well, uh, the Fondación Once was created by the Once, uh, which uh, stands for the National Organization for the Spanish Blind, which was born uh, 70, 70 years ago. Uh, it was created by a group of uh, blind people uh, who decided and who thought that the best uh, way for being independent was not to live on the subsidies of the state but to have this uh, plan, uh, this, this life uh, by uh, selling a lottery, which is a social lottery. And, uh, but it was only, it was devoted only for blind people. So in 1988, they opened their minds and in uh, solidarity with the rest of people with disabilities, uh, they created the Fundación Once in our board of uh, trustees, there are the, the principal um, entities of the rest of, uh, of uh, disabilities. And they created it with the goal of, uh, uh, with, with the goal and the mission of employment and uh, accessibility. So uh, it's an instrument uh, of, of solidarity and uh, we work in uh, alliance not only uh, with, uh, with these entities of, uh, of disability but with other stakeholders, uh, multinationals, other companies, other foundations, not only in Spain but also in the rest of, uh, in the rest of Europe. So we work for disability from disability. And you have a twofold role in the sense that you promote the issue of disability amongst employers and uh, the European Commission and others, but you also have a major role in Spain as an employer and as a business in its own right. Can you tell us a little bit about that approach you have? Yeah, sure. Uh, they say that, that the ONFE is the biggest private employer in Spain uh, with, for uh, Direct employment, we have uh, 70,000 people working at uh, Tonfe and with uh, direct and indirect uh, work, we are more than 130,000 workers working there and more than 70% people with disabilities. Uh, so uh, it's, it's a good example that you ha can have social commitment and also uh, being uh, useful for, uh, as, a, as a company. We have also a group of, uh, of uh, companies uh, brand new, with a brand new name which is called Illunion. Uh, which is uh, matching what, what uh, we call in Spanish illusion, which uh, can be translated as joy, as joy 
and union. So uh, we are uh, united in uh, enjoying the talent, always with a positive message. And we have several companies uh, working uh, on uh, on different uh, fields, uh, in technology, in human resources, uh, social services, etc. And uh, forty percent of uh, of the people working there and in the, in the companies on in this union of uh, the companies of Ode and of the foundation are uh, almost fifty percent have uh, have a disability. Tell us, what's your hopes for the future? Our hopes is uh, normalization that uh, people don't talk about disability but about ability about capacity uh, we have an optimistic message always uh, we have making several campaigns in the last uh, few years i invite you to 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 visit the website for example we have one for uh, for the young uh, people uh, to invite them to to work uh, which is called never give up uh, it's uh, mentioned as a good example in the booklet we have made together with the European Foundation uh, Center uh, with the, the, the framework of the collaboration we, we have uh, with you. So with, uh, it's, a, it's a publication of uh, uh, 11 uh, good practices uh, of, uh, the philanthropic, from the philanthropic uh, sector. Uh, on how disability uh, is, a, is a good social uh, investment. So uh, the message of always optimism, never give up, and we will uh, still fighting for normalization. Maria Tusi, thank you for being in dialogue with the European Foundation Center. Thank you very much, Narendra. Pleasure.